Hi and welcome to a new Decred News update. Before we begin, remember to like, comment and subscribe to help boost the channel and spread awareness of Decred. Decred stakeholders are currently in the process of voting on four different consensus changes that will alter and improve the underlying rules of the Decred network. The ability to change the rules of the network via Decred's on-chain hybrid proof-of-work and proof-of-stake governance model is Decred's most critical feature and one of the reasons the Decred chain was created in the first place. Let's do a quick rundown of the four possible consensus changes. The revert treasury expenditure policy changes the algorithm used to calculate treasury spending limits such that it enforces the policy originally approved by stakeholders in the decentralized treasury proposal. The explicit version upgrades vote provides an easy, reliable, and efficient method for software and hardware to determine exactly which rules should be applied to transaction and script versions. The automatic ticket revocations vote improves the Decred stakeholder user experience by removing the requirement for stakeholders to manually revoke missed and expired tickets. And finally is the change proof of work proof of stake subsidy split. This would change Decred's block reward subsidy split so that the proof of work miners receive only 10% of the block reward down from 60% and proof of stake miners would now receive 80% of the block reward up from 30% with 10% of the block reward still going to the treasury unchanged. In order for these upgrades to be implemented they must receive 75% voter approval and a 10% voter quorum. Voter quorum has already been achieved, and voting thus far has been overwhelmingly in support of the new consensus changes, with nearly 9,000 votes cast on-chain with over a 99% approval on all four of the different consensus changes. Remember, most other projects, including Bitcoin, do not have a formal governance process to facilitate changes, upgrades, or to bring about conflict resolution. The result is such blockchains will be unable to upgrade and eventually stagnate, or will be captured by power structures that can control and manipulate the protocol. Only 23 votes thus far have been cast rejecting the subsidy consensus change, which is unexpected given that there was a bit of pushback against this change on Twitter, Reddit, and Politea. If proof-of-work miners had actually staked the coins they mined instead of dumping them on the market, they'd have a stronger ability to control the direction of Decred. This goes to show why skin-in-the-game governance is so effective and why on-chain voting is ultimately more effective than polls on Twitter, or other social media sites. There are approximately 18 days of voting left to go before the vote concludes. It's always satisfying to keep track of the voting process, which users can do by visiting voting.decred.org. The voting lasts over one rule change interval, which is approximately one month. Once voting has concluded, there is another lock-in period of one month. VSPD 1.1.0 has been released. This release enables voting on treasury spending and adds support for tickets purchased with Trezor hardware wallets. All VSP admins should upgrade to 1.1.0 as soon as possible. While this new release supports treasury spending in VSPD, it still needs to be integrated in Decred's graphical wallet, Decrediton. So until that development work is completed, Decrediton users will not be able to vote on treasury spends for the Decred DAO. Decred 1.7.1 was released to fix a few different bugs. Most notably is that the automatic ticket buyer has been fixed and now functions properly. The Lightning Network user interface has been updated and makes it easier for users to connect to previous nodes and open up channels. Lightning transactions are nearly instant and free, providing a scaling solution for Decred users. Decred is the only cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin taking Lightning seriously and is consistently being developed. A high contrast theme is in the works for the Decred wallet and for Politeia. Decred is currently under consideration to be added to the Grayscale Cryptocurrency Fund. Recently, we've seen some interest from other cryptocurrency communities such as Zcash and Litecoin in regards to the DCR DEX. The DCR DEX, of course, allows permissionless peer-to-peer -peer trading using atomic swap technology with no privacy invasive know your customer requirements. Not even an email is needed to begin trading. The DEX is easily accessible in Decred's graphical wallet to Crediton. Litecoin is already supported by the DCR DEX. However, there's one problem. There are no markets for it. Someone would need to start a server that provides a Litecoin and Bitcoin trading pair or a Litecoin and Decred trading pair. Remember, the DCR DEX is completely open source. 
Any cryptocurrency project is free to integrate their coin and make use of atomic swap technology. Unlike centralized exchanges, we do not pick winners and losers. Developers can even integrate the DEX into their own cryptocurrency graphical wallets if they so choose. The DCR DEX was created to assist the cryptocurrency ecosystem in returning to its roots of self-custody and privacy. Centralized exchanges are not only greedy with their user fees, but are also prone to getting hacked, losing user funds, and leaking private user data. The future of cryptocurrency trading isn't one where users are surveilled, lose custody of their coins, and are fleeced with trading fees. The DCR DEX is leading the way for peer-to-peer -peer trading. It's only a matter of time before other cryptocurrencies take notice and join us. This in turn will help spread awareness of Decred. The Decred DAO, which is governed by Decred's coin holders, is responsible for the creation and continued development of the DEX. Decred project lead Jake Yocompiat was featured on the European TV program Art in an episode titled Are Cryptocurrencies the Future? A person with a special piece of paper, a commercial bank, can snap their fingers and then turn money, you know, make money pop into existence. Bitcoin in its simplest terms is basically a network where no one owns your assets, where there's a computer that handles all of the issuance, a computer network that handles all of the issuance. There's only a finite number of Bitcoins that will ever go into circulation. I mean, the reason people look at the Bitcoin white paper and Bitcoin in general and we're like, oh my God, this is mind blowing. Everyone else was here and then Bitcoin was like, oh yeah, we're here. And so there's this just huge gap between what other people had been doing and what Bitcoin did. Let's say someone who's more advanced than I am comes along and shows me how to make fire. I learn how to make fire. Who that person is who showed me how to make fire, it matters. But to me, it really doesn't matter. What matters is I can set things on fire. There's no third party, there's no, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin CEO who can hit the button and be like, oh, that's a bad transfer, I'm gonna reverse it. So it's effectively irreversible and it, it you know, it's non-custodial. MonPR helps secure even more media, getting an article on CoinRevet, talking about how the Decred project used its governance abilities to bounce back from proof-of-work miner manipulation. The article was also syndicated to Yahoo Finance. Decred Society released a video celebrating Decred's sixth anniversary, going over the project's many milestones. February 8th, 2022, Decred celebrated its sixth birthday. That's six years of running non-stop and six years of live innovation happening directly on the network in real time. December 15th, 2015, Decred was announced to the world. After witnessing a contentious nature of centralized development and a rough consensus system, that made the miners the final say in all upgrades. The Decred founders, Company Zero, Taco Time, Insoc, began work. The proposal was for an open source, progressive and self-funding cryptocurrency with a system of community-based governance integrated into its blockchain. At the core of the project was a hybrid proof of stake, proof of work consensus system that aimed at striking a balance between proof of work miners and proof of stake voters to create a more robust notion of consensus. Decred is the first blockchain to successfully implement a consensus or rule change without causing a change split or hard fork, making it also the first blockchain to become fork resistant. The release of Volatair along with the Decred treasury has paved the way for Decred to become a new kind of organization, the DAO. A decentralized autonomous organization is a self-funding, self-governing, systemized approach to achieving goals. At this point, we've only witnessed three years of development. And in this time, Decred has pushed more successful firsts and contentious innovations than any other project in the space. Decred's sixth anniversary was also celebrated in Morocco by contractor Insaf Nori. Eileen Huesca gave a presentation about the Decred DAO at the Daoist Latin America conference explaining the project's features and governance. I attended a cryptocurrency meetup in Medellin, Colombia, a major expat hub, where many people were interested in Decred and what it's doing. Getting out there and meeting other people involved in cryptocurrency is a fantastic way to network and spread awareness of DCR. Now, let's take a look at network statistics. The Decred Treasury currently has 774,696 DCR and is worth 45.5 million US dollars at an exchange rate of 58.78 US dollars. The total coin supply is 13,872,920 DCR, which means the chain is 66% mined. 57% of the circulating supply has been mixed via Decred's in-wallet mixing service called Stake Shuffle. The hash rate is 270.32 peta hashes. 
The current ticket supply is 253.97 DCR with 8,646,502 DCR staked, representing 62.33% of the circulating supply. The current blockchain size is 7.78 gigabytes. Decred Society and I have started a monthly live stream called The State of the Market, where we go over what's happening in the world and how it relates to Decred and crypto. So it says here, for the second time, Jess has warned customers of the problem um, in just um, just so many weeks about leaving your money on centralized exchanges, basically saying um, when the governments call us to shut you down or to stop you from accessing your funds, we have to comply. Which obviously brings us back to what we were talking about just a moment with the DEX. The reason we're pushing for a fearless DEX where there's no middlemen is so that you can have peer-to-peer -peer exchange, you can have peer-to-peer -peer transactions like Bitcoin um, um, gives us but we can take it one step further so you can actually change in and out of, of multiple projects. And it's this whole idea, and I mean, we go back um, a long way with this. It's not your not your keys, not your, your funds. And we've, we've seen it so many times before where exchanges have been hacked or exchanges have been shut down. But I think this is probably the first time where um, governments are getting involved and they're physically asking people or asking um, exchanges to, to block block users. Now, let's take a look at Politea. The Politea 2022 Q1 proposal from Luke PP passed with 97% voter approval with over 22,000 votes cast. This proposal requests 138,600 US dollars payable in DCR to continue both front-end and back-end development work on Decred's proposal platform, Politea, over the next four to six months. Luke says the focus is to complete the plugin implementations that allow for a number of applications, such as the Decred proposal system and contractor management system, to be run on Politea. Some deliverables for this proposal include plugins that allow for payments, comments, user identity, user authentication, and records, among others. Other work involves maintaining and optimizing existing Politeo code, user experience improvements, bug fixes, and software testing. Like all of Decred software, Politeo is open source and can be found in Decred GitHub repos. The Decred Video Content 2022 proposal passed with 98% voter approval with over 22,000 votes cast, representing a 55% voter turnout. This proposal requests funding to create video content based around education, news updates, tutorials, and graphics animations. The budget for this proposal is $3,200 per month, lasting until the end of the year. This proposal is not limited to existing contractors. We are always open to new contributors to help create video content and expand Decred. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.